And this is the first time we are meeting in the house. All the time we meet on the street, we meet. After that, we go to a restaurant to eat. But this time, he has done what an apostles do. He has decided enough of meeting on the streets and in restaurant. So he's visiting every one of us in our homes Amen. to get to know us more, which is very impressive. In fact, this has touched my heart so much. I'm not the only person he has visited at home. He's visited others at home one-on-one -on -one with them. So we are privileged. From here, he's, they are going back on the street tonight to evangelize unto God who asked them to go home. And before he goes, I want him to say a word or two. And we ask for your prayers. You see, the method we are using might be orthodox to you. It might not sound timely. It might not look the way you expect it. But our God knows what he's doing. Amen. And God doesn't repeat methods. He's an amazing God. Even Jesus yes. didn't use the same method in healing. So even though you may not understand how God is using us, please pray with us and don't condemn the way God is using us. Yes. It might not be familiar with you. It might be a new thing, but that's what our God does. Amen. He said, behold, I do a new thing. Amen. Forget the former things. Amen. Can't you see? Amen. So pray with us that God will keep all of us useful and deliver us from the hands of the devil and every work of the devil so that nations will hear the gospel. So my brother, we share briefly with you before they go on the street and we are asking for your prayers to be with them while they're on the street preaching. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. It's great to be here with Pastor Ebenezer in his house with his wonderful family and to be sharing a an amazing fellowship meal and um, you know I don't know what might be in your mind in regards to how we serve the Lord or um, evangelize and sometimes it might look strange some of you might be thinking we're we're causing a disturbance maybe you're thinking what we're doing is not effective we're scaring people away but the way I see it is like the Apostle Paul sees it. Um, Christ is being preached. And when Christ is being preached, the word of the Lord will never go void. And I've seen in my own walk the power of just obeying the word of the Lord by being fishers of men. And you have to understand that there are different type of fish. There's there's octopus, there's there's... Uh, kraut, there's salmon fish, there's tilapia fish, there's sharks. Every fish has its own bait. Mm. And every fish, ha fish has its own uh, strength that you need to uh, put out for that fish to come into the boat. We're living in a generation that I would liken the people not to, not to salamanders, not to uh, minnows, not to easy fish that you could just put a put a net and they all just come into the boat the types of fish we're dealing with are sharks we're dealing with a fish that are stubborn that that you have to come with a harpoon you have to come with a very strong hook and you have to have a lot of muscles to pull pull them in and if what i'm saying is not true then why is it that we're losing the generation we have churches. We have the old ways of doing it. The tent meetings, the big buildings, the, the, the different types of worship teams and everything that has been done. But we're losing the people. Um, so what is it? It's because the generation has changed. We're living in a generation that it's going to take more effort. It's going to take genuine love. People that are willing, like Jesus said, go into the highways and the byways and bid them come even the uh one of the apostles you know the root word of that bid is like persuading persuade and it's just the, the same way you know when the angels went to rescue lost family look at how they did it this is a family so stuck in the world they didn't want to and god desperately so the bible if you look at the scene the word of god says that one angel grabbed two of the children and the other one grabbed 
Lord and the wife, they actually dragged them out of Sodom to save them. So the methods, the way God saved Lot and the family is different the way God saved Noah. That's right. So there is no right and wrong way of doing no. it. It's just dispensational change. And we have to go with the Holy Spirit. That's right. That's right. And, and I'm not against any evangelism style and neither should you be. You may not understand it. You may not do it this way. But I'm the type of guy that whatever works, I'm going to do. Whatever the need is, I'm going to do. Whatever God has called me to do, that's what I'm going to do. And I believe Pastor Ebenezer is the same. And so we're living in a generation that people are not just going to walk into a church. They're not. There's so many uh, voices and, and religions and everything pulling them in every direction. The family's structure has changed. The, the educational system has changed. So now we have to be almost more aggressive by getting the Word of God out because the media is not going to put it out. The culture is not going to support us. The educational system is not teaching our kids. So we literally got to put it out, Jesus' name, out there. We got to get out there and persuade them and challenge them. And this is why you're seeing a, a move of the younger generation that that they're even stepping out. Mm. And so the older pastors, the older Christians need to learn something of this generation. Yeah. It's not like before. Mm -hmm. It's not like before. You have to go out. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to count the cost. It's, it's, it's almost like it's going full circle. In the beginning, in the early church, when nothing was established, they went out. Mm -hmm. They did miracle signs and wonders. They were challenging the witches, challenging the, the warlocks. And they saw the power of God. Mm -hmm. And many of them were put to death and in prison. Yeah. Now there was a period where Christianity was uh, a foundation, where where people, you, you know, the the church structure, the education was all pro-Christian. Mm -hmm. But it's gone the other way. We're going. It's almost like we're going back to the beginning. Yeah. And this is why we need more radical people that are not ashamed, that are willing to die for Christ, willing to go to jail for Christ, willing to lose their job for Christ. Because if we're not radical like that, whatever is left will be lost. And so that's why we go out. Don't criticize. If you don't understand it, pray. Pray. Pray for us. Pray. And if you think you can do it better, then please do it better. Show us how it's done. Come on out and teach us. But I believe we're doing something right. And I believe that you should uh, support and get on board with what the Lord is doing in this generation. You know, we were in Wales. And after preaching, Pastor Gordy and a couple of mine said, we went to buy ice cream at a big front in Wales. And this woman said, I know you guys. I said, wait a minute. And she said, you, are, you were my neighbor from Bucky. God and she mentioned that dress and the son came and said are you not the one who stands in, in front of parking station and preaches? Wow. All the way in Wales. You see what Pastor wow. David is saying all that matters is for somebody to hear the gospel. Amen. Do you know there was somebody who actually called me by messenger and said I'm in India now and I'm sitting with friends watching you people harassing you and I wow. told them I knew you, I don't know you personally, but I said, I knew you from Stratford. You preach at Stratford, and what is happening is happening at Stratford. And they didn't believe me. Please, can you speak to them? Am I lying or not? I said, you are not lying. He said, so I said, why are you in, in India? He said, I came to school in the UK. I did medicine, and I've gone back. So she's been watching us from India. But I didn't ask her if she has given her life to Jesus. So... Beloved, God is doing a new thing. And most of the time, when God is doing a new thing, we don't understand. But be like Gamaliel. Gamaliel told the people, let us stop punishing these guys and beating them and threatening them. Because if what they are doing is of God, no one can stop it. We will end up fighting against God. So what you knew before, it might not be what God is doing now. Let's go along with it. At the end of the day, it's not about any man, it's about saving of souls. Yes. We may not have them in church, but they have heard the gospel at least once. Amen. And that's most important. Amen. This evening, I'm at home babysitting, but my brothers are going on the field tonight. 
I don't know what time they're going to leave the street, but they're going to the city of London tonight to preach. So you out there, I want you to bow down your head with us. And we will receive a prayer from all of you. Pray for us that God will keep us usable, that souls will be saved. As my brother leads in prayer, stretch your hands wherever you are towards us and pray for us that God will use us mightily. UK needs revival. I don't know what country you live in. I, this country needs revival. And God is choosing people to use. If you are not one of those people, at least stand with those who are the war front. You don't have to be at the war front. Joshua was at the war front. Moses was sitting there. Yes. But he had her and another brother lifting his hands so that the war can be won. Maybe you'll be the one lifting up your hands for us whilst we're on the battlefield. It's about souls. It's not about any one of us. Pastor David, pray for us. Well, Father God, thank you, Lord, for yes. uh, Pastor Ebenezer's wife, his wonderful children, his home. Bless them, Father God. Yes. Bless them abundantly. Bless them uh, more than they can even hold, oh God. Yes. Let it overflow in their ministry, yes. Lord, in the people around them, Father God, yes. that even their words, not only would they have more than enough, yes. but Lord, they would have enough to feed yes. everybody that comes in their path, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for those that are watching right now and listening, Father God. I pray a blessing over them. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy for your power that brought us to this room, to yes. brought us to this time, that we can all partner together in prayer yes. and come before you, Lord. It is a privilege yes. and an honor, Lord, to be a priest in your presence, yes. to praise your mighty name and to intercede on behalf of your kingdom and your will. So, Father, let your will be done tonight, O oh, Father God. We pray for those souls who are out there partying, thinking that playing with demons and dressing up and, yes. and dabbling into witchcraft and drugs and alcohol is right. We pray that you would open their eyes, yes. oh Father God, arrest the demons, send them back to where they belong in the pit of hell, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, use us today, those who are waiting there, those who are there, we pray that you put a hedge a protection, Father God, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, and that the words of the Lord would come forth strong, O Father, like a sword, a double-edged sword, piercing every demonic force and disarming every wicked principality in that area. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask right now for your power, for your anointing, for your cleansing, for your for your for your miracle working uh, power to go before us. To be in us, O oh Lord, and your words, that it would uh, 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 be powerful in that area, Lord God. Let your will be done. Send your angels around us, O oh Father God, before us, O oh Lord, so that we can accomplish your will. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 May the Lord keep you yourself. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Thank you, man of God. We will definitely be on the street together before you. Amen. <laughs> okay, you. praise the Lord, everybody. Bless you. Oh. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, well, we have to run.